You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? This is the second video in a row where I started out with Michael Keaton's Batman. And guess what? Payback is a... What's up, Throttlers? Aristotle Full Throttle here, and in this video, I'm talking about some of the most emotionally satisfying line reversals in movies. Where one character sets up a line and they kind of repeat it throughout the movie, but then another character takes that line and flips it around on them in a highly effective and or creative way. So here are just a few of my favorites that have popped into my head randomly in the past couple days, and I wanted to share them with you. But before I get into it, if this is your first time here, remember to like this video, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. And I'm having a giveaway once I get to 10,000 subscribers, so remember Remember to leave a comment to qualify to win a PS4 plus Red Dead Redemption 2 or a game of your choice of equal or lesser value. I started off this video with Michael Keaton's Batman. In that movie, of course, the Joker, when he was young, Jack Napier, says, you ever dance with the devil in the pale moon light to the young Bruce Wayne? And then when Batman grows up to confront the Joker, this is a great moment. You ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Batman tends to do this a lot, like in The Dark Knight Rises. Bane says this, then you have my permission to die. But later on, Batman says this. Tell me where the traitor is. Then you have my permission to die. Or this moment in Django Unchained. Set up. I like the way you beg, boy. Turn around. Remember me? Pay off. I like the way you die, boy. Great moment. Oh boy, was that satisfying. Tarantino does this a lot in his movies. He gives you a good moment where you can actually revel in the villain going down. I Come In Peace, which was an interesting movie. It just had the gimmick that the alien comes down, says I come in peace a lot, and that's all it can say really, and then it goes ahead and kills people. I don't know, I guess that was a good idea at some point. Cause it's ironic, he's saying I come in peace, but then he kills you. But Dolph Lundgren flips it around. And you go in pieces, asshole. I almost feel like they based the entire script on that exchange. Remember the 80s? I could just see the writer going, I come in peace and you go in pieces. And then them writing the entire script around that. Late 80s, early 90s, they would just have like a catchphrase and then they'd write a whole movie about it. And in Die Hard, it's great when Hans does a double reversal on John McClane's line. But it doesn't quite work out the way you wanted it. yippee ki yay mother <laughs> Trails, Hans. It's always fun to watch someone get a taste of their own medicine. Technically, this isn't a line reversal, but in The Terminator, when Sarah Connor says this, terminated it's a great reversal. And in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, this has got to be one of the best moments. No man can kill me. Because he says, no man. She's like, I am no man. Here's a funny one, in Avengers Endgame, when Captain America says I can do this all day to Captain America. An ironic twist, using the same line, but we view it in a different way because Captain America now kind of seems annoying when he says it. I can do this all day. Yeah, I know. I know. Even though it's always been a very satisfying callback. But it's fun to see Cap get annoyed by himself. That is America's ass. One of my favorite movies, Trading Places, there's a great exchange between the characters whose lives have been played with by these really rich dudes, and the rich dudes bet that they could improve one man's life and ruin another, and all they wagered was one dollar. <laughs> so in the end of Trading Places, when this happens... Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put y'all in the poorhouse at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. I won. I lost. One dollar. Thank you, Lewis. Eddie Murphy. When he was funny. We all know the Borg catchphrase. Resistance is futile. Resistance is futile, but I don't know why they would say futile. futile. But I love when Data gets one over on the bad guy. Resistance is futile. Futile. If you think that's a pretty good one, just go ahead and click the like button. I was very young when I saw Adventures in Babysitting, and it was rated PG-13, I think, but there are two F-words allotted to every PG-13 movie. Don't with the Lords of Hell. Yes. And this movie uses them in rapid succession. Don't f with the babysitter. Oh. Darth Vader getting a taste of his own medicine in this moment. Wow, what a way to tell a story with visuals. Though it's not a line reversal, it is a role reversal, and it's a great way to tell the story in pictures and in a moment, without even saying anything. We get it. But you don't get it. You didn't get it. You hated the Ewoks, Joe. One of the most highly effective uses of a character repeating another character's line is in this movie. One of the greatest movies ever made. E.T. I'll be right here. 
That gets me. I mean, come on. Seriously. How good is that? Oof. That gets me right in, in, in the cockles. And Good Will Hunting, which is one of my favorite movies ever, has a moment that's shared between characters earlier on in the movie. Sorry, guys. I gotta see about a girl. <laughs> which is why this moment... If the professor calls about that job, just tell him, sorry. I had to go see about a girl. ...is incredibly satisfying yeah. emotionally. Son of a bitch. He stole my life. I like it. So if you like it, like it by pushing like. But I have to say, in recent history, the greatest use of a line reversal that is so satisfying, such a payoff, in the greatest possible way of 11 years of 22 movies, was when Iron Man is facing down Thanos. Thanos says his line, I am inevitable. And then Iron Man pays us all off, pays his character off. His whole life was leading up to that moment. He becomes fully realized and saves the entire universe. I am Iron Man. What a great reversal. If you agree with that, smash like. The comeuppance for Thanos in that moment is great because it reflects everything that he did, how everybody gets dusted, just like in Infinity War. So that's a bit of a compilation of some of my favorite line reversals in movies that were so emotionally satisfying and notable. And that's why I made this video. I think it's really important that we note how other people affect us and how we affect others. It's an important exercise to put ourselves in someone else's shoes. If you have any suggestions of some of the most satisfying line reversals in movies, let me know in the comments below because irony is it's it's fantastic. fantastic. So if you guys like this video, like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. And remember, you can always support this channel on Patreon, you can pledge a dollar or two a month definitely helps me out. I'm Aristotle Full Throttle, your bro in the know with the fro, and I'll see you later. You have my permission to brag. Tom Hardy, the best eyeball actor in Hollywood. We're friends to the end, remember? This is the end, friend. That hits me right in the cockles.